see how to use the queue filing to automate your file organization. For example, you have uh, a lot of information to handle and you uh, have an issue how to properly keep it uh, and it, it is a problem for you. For example, there are files that are scattered everywhere and it's very difficult for you to organize them or after traveling you've been on vacation somewhere and you, you took a lot of photos and you want to organize them all at once actually this is a, a, a good help or a good assistant the queue filing and also for storage uh, when storage capacity is almost full and you need to fast and quickly clean uh, and remove all the unnecessary files so this is where the queue filing comes into place for more details about this uh, i think nina will give you more insights okay so with queue filing uh, actually you can use it to solve all the problem you uh, just um Lonely just mentioned before like the first feature is that we very flexible if you want to set any conditions you can just use the queue filing rules in three steps and everything will be set it down and it's very efficiency too if you want to maybe every week to reorganize the photo from the camera you can schedule in the task mm. and the third one is that it's very fast because we provide a function named recipes if you want to do the same task maybe uh, twice a week third week and you're not sure the time you want to use it you can just save it as a recipe and you can use it anytime you want to use reuse it again yeah and it's very safe and you can total control the task too because we provide the system logs and the task log to let you check every details very easily so let's check how it works so the idea is you just need to uh, select the source file you want to archiving and set the filing criteria like you need to pick out the document uh, you want to put some watermark on the images like this and after setting the condition you just need to select the extension you want to archiving to like you want to move the file from your mobile device to the NAS yeah. Yeah. So, for example, these are the source uh, uh, folders. They can be on the left side and on the right hand side. In the end, is the where you can select this destination. Yeah. So it's a simple idea, and mm -hmm. the road will be like this. If you want to fill some files in some criteria, like you want to pick up the file name with Q filing and uh, modify that, need to before this month or equal to this month like this and you want to encrypt the file before archiving mm -hmm. and the destination can choose to uh, the another folder and you can reorganize all the files during the filing task so in the source file filters we provide more than 20 conditions you can see here mm -hmm. The best one is the file name, modified date, or the file size. And the advanced condition will be like, you can choose picture uh, with the taken date, mm -hmm. even the camera brand. And the document will have the, maybe you can pick up some specific authors, like oh. this one. Yeah. It's very useful, actually. Yeah. And in the file editing modules, we provide like, the watermark you can edit on your images and videos and also the new module image to PDF yeah. you can merge all the images into one PDF and it's very uh, convenient to share the files yeah, it's very automatic I mean automize, automize, uh, automize uh, everything so it's all the pictures that you chose in the file in the uh, source folder they're yes. gonna be in PDF yes so let's see the image to pdf patch the basic function is like you can create a customized layout the size and the orientation 
and you can set up the header, footer, the margin, and you can also adjust the resolution of the image. If you change to the low resolution, the sharing speed will be faster. Oh. Yeah. So if your customer just want to check some picture and very quickly, you can choose the low resolution. Low resolution for quick results. Yes. And the advanced condition will we provide the file protection function. You can choose to prevent the copy your images or print the PDF and encrypt the PDF. Yeah. Okay, so the third step is the destination and structure. We can not only select one destination, you can select two, one to local and one to mount remote NAS. So that will can be backup to different paths. So the same from the same source, they can be going to different paths, the different destination folders. Yes, right. In the Here? screen, you can see that we can select multiple. Oh yeah, there's the path. Yeah. And also you can select the destination path to the recycle bin. So you can move some files to the recycle and the time after the expired time, the file will be deleted. Oh, so when, like I said, one of the problems that you have a lot of things you you want to delete or quickly, this yeah. is like where it does. Yes. And here is another tab named folder structure. We provide three ways to like to select. The first one is you can create a new folder structure with this function. Mm -hmm. You can choose you want to the picture. Uh, just reorganized by the taken day and okay. the document reorganized by the author. You can set it very quickly. You and after you set the condition, you can share the preview. Oh, there's the, the screen, the preview screen there that yes. you can see how the destination path is going to look like inside. Yes. With the pictures, well, there's, you chose here picture and document. So. Yeah, and if you like uh, the previous original folder structure, you can choose the second option. And also you can flatten all the files in one path. Oh. Yeah. And here we also provide some handling prin principles like you can rename all the files, like uh, maybe you move the photos from your camera, the default name might be the DCIM oh, like yeah. that. You can replace those words and with the rename function. Oh, so you can actually, before moving the files, it will automatically change the names if it has the same name. Yes, and we also show some ex example there. You, If you name the Qfiling, the file name will be like qfiling1, qfiling2, oh just yeah, so by the index. index. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And also you can set a conflict policy, like skip the duplicate files. Okay. Yeah. And after set a condition, you can also change to the scheduling steps. We, uh, we provide the daily, weekly, monthly, the schedule options. So this can be uh, uh, scheduled also in advance? For yes. For example, after uh, one day, after one week, to do the reorganizing for you? Yes. Uh, and we also provide these status functions like in the summary page, you can check all the test data. If you found some test is failed, you can go to the system log tab and mm -hmm. that will show which test is failed and what's wrong with that. And you can click the action button, it's like a ice icon. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. And click that will direct to the test log. The test log in test log will show every details the files which files is wrong, be, uh, caused by something like that. Okay, it will tell you what is the uh, reason, what is the excuse of that uh, happening. Yes. Okay. And this is the recipe page. In this page, 
you will have uh, some con uh, filing rules you have set it up and you can select any one recipe and open it to create the filing task so you can do the task very quickly just one click so there are like suggested recipes and uh, other more exclusive recipes yeah so you can create some yeah. own filing conditions and you can use this over again yeah okay